Hello everyone, this is Kalyan. Today I'll be going to show how to install the Hive in your laptop. So Hive is a data warehouse. So on top of the Hadoop, it is going to running it. The prerequisite for the Hive is you need to install the Hadoop and the prerequisite for the Hadoop is Java. And you want to install the Java or Hadoop in your laptop. So you can follow my previous videos. Now in my system today, I'll be going to show how to install the Hive. And generally you can install Hive in it two ways. One is internal meta store and other one is external meta store. We can call it as a remote meta store also. So as part of internal meta store, so the entire meta store data is going to store in your local system only. But as part of the external meta store, Hive stores the data into external database that is for the meta store database. And I'll be going to show both the things as part of this demo now. So let's open my terminal and verify is my java is configured or not by using echo command echo space dollar java underscore oh so my java is configured similarly let's verify the hardware also echo space dollar hardware underscore home so hardware also configured so let me start my Hadoop with the start all command start ifn all dot sh because the pre-request will be the Hadoop okay let me verify with gps command is it really running or not so secondary name node job tracker task tracker and data node so which is the process not running right now is name node so let me check the reason what might be Open the name node lock. Okay. So you can see the message here directory home hard work data DFS name is inconsistent. Our store directory does not exist. So let me format the name because I was not done the format command. Hard name node iPhone format this is the first time that says no there is no warning also if you are doing second time it will warn you do you want to for a format or not so you should have to say only no n so then again give the command to start the only name node that is hadoop iphone demon dot sh space start name node verify with jps yeah. Now it is able to run the name node also. So my pre-request for the hive is Hadoop is running now. So I can able to access my data through browser also. Let me open the browser. Localhost colon five double zero search. So we are able to see the Hadoop up and running now. My currently live nodes are single. I am running in a pseudo mode. So you can able to see. So let's proceed the steps for the Hive installation in internal mode. I have my required data in my Hive folder the one is the tarball which we require to install the hive so you can choose which version of the hive you want to install it currently i'm going with the 0.10.0 version so copy this tarball to your work directory and extract here And 
then update the dot bashrc file with hive underscore home open the terminal g edit space tilde slash dot bashrc so add the two more lines is export hive underscore home equal to home hadoop work hive ifn 0 dot 10 dot 0 currently we are using this version you can choose different one also export path equal to dollar hive underscore home slash bin colon dollar path so we need to make sure that we need to add these two lines it might be in internal meta store external meta store this is a common processor now once we add these two lines save this file and close it and reopen the terminal let me verify the changes are reflected or not with the echo command okay so now my hive is configured in the dot bash file so let's go for the initialization processor the prerequisite for the hive is how do we install it and also we started and the configuration wise hive we need to go to hive underscore home folder that is currently here and inside this go to con folder and here we need to add a one file called hive ifn selectsmr by default it won't be there we need to create it So inside this file we need to add the properties and also XML information. I'll show you the my sample information, but I have it in my high folder. So need to have a basic XML first. This is common for any XML generally we have added now inside this we need to add the properties there are two properties are required if to configure the hive in internal meta store so one is warehouse directory and which mode of the hive we are going are you like internal meta store external mode store mainly we have two and based on the, the third property is going to come like a connection connection url also so make sure that these three properties we need to add into the hive hyphen site.xml so one is high metas i where i meta store warehouse directory high meta store local and java x jdo option connection url let me add these three properties to my hive iphone sided xml so what is the meaning of these three properties the first property is when we are running the hive if you're creating a tables or databases in the hive where exactly hive has to store the actual data in sdfs this is a location the default location will be slash user slash hive warehouse if you want to modify it then you need to override this property otherwise not required it's not a mandatory and this is the property is very important so if you want to run in a hive in an internal meta store or it's like a local meta store so the by default it is going to run back and this embedded derby and you want to use the MI Derby means we need to provide this property high meta store local value true. If you say false, it's not going to come into internal, it's going to the external or remote. And the third one is if you say internal uh, local, so where exactly it's going to store the path. That's path you have to mention here. By default, it won't be there. So no need to create it also. I will take care of creation this folder. And if you add all these three properties in your high center XML, then you are done for the high installation in internal meta store. So let's start the high and verify. What is the command to start the high or correcting to the high ways? Simple command is high. Uh, and uh, I think some issue in the property. Let me verify it yeah there is a wrong thing i have written here let me remove it cool 
now let me start again so once it is moved to the high prop we can't say like a hive is properly running it by verifying verifying the hive there are two commands you can go for it the one basic command is show data bases this command will take first time few minutes you can able to see some seconds are taken now it depends on your system it will go suppose if you get second time it won't take this much of time so the only the first time it will take a huge time for us this is one command and the second command is create any database test if these two commands are working means we can say 100% hive is properly running it and how to stop the hive is like exit semicolon so this is a processor for the installing the hive in internal meta store or else we can call it as a local meta store so it's by default it runs with the embedded derby so hope you understand this one and similarly let's install the hive in external meta store the external meta store can be a mysql can be a derby or can be a oracle also i'll be going to show as part of this demo so installing the hive in external meta store with mysql database so for that one the same procedure what we have followed for the internal meta store <coughs> copying the tarball to your work directory and uh, up extracting the tarball and updating the dot bash file with the two changes one is hive underscore home and other one is path variable and once you've done these both steps then go to the hive con folder create a one file called hive xml now inside this file we need to modify the properties so this property no need to change it you can keep it as it is and this property is now not required or else you can make it as a false also you can remove it also and now this correction url you have to change it so we are going with the mysql means this is not going to work so for that one we have a separate url will be there we have to add that one and when we are providing the any external database we need to mention the driver class name also username password so instead of this one i'll remove here i'll add the exact information so there are four properties now with this four properties i'll be going to adding let's understand one by one so this indicates like a where the meta store data we have to store, where the meta store warehouse data we have to store in the sdfs we already previously discussed now this one is a connection url it's connecting to mysql database is running in my local system with the port is double three zero six if it is running in a remote system means we can provide the remote ip address also and i'll be choosing my meta store database name is the hive underscore db and this is a common syntax for the connection url create database if not exist equal to true and for mysql connection driver name is like a com.mysql.jdbc driver i provided and as well as my currently mysql username is the root and the password is the hadoop so you can check my high mysql installation doc video also for the knowing like a, these steps also how to install the mysql how to start how to connect to mysql also so once we update all this information we need to add a one major thing is like a the mysql connector jar has to be updated inside the hive lib folder so let's copy that hive lib hive lib folder hive to lib folder is the mysql connector jar copy this jar from my data into work hive lib folder so once we copied this lift folder jar lift folder then the prerequisite is mysql is it running or not just verified so let's start with the command if not sudo service mysql start 
so it's saying already running mix then no need to worry about that already is installed in my system it is also running if you want more information is you can follow my previous video for how to install the mysql and how to run it also now it is running properly and also we have updated the proper information which is related to the how to install the hive in external meta store with mysql let's only start the hive now The same previous command is verification purposes. So, data basis semicolon. Only first time will take time. Now, if I get second time, it will be the last time. And similarly, create one database, create database some XYZ. So, it is showing like it's currently working. It then you want to come out from here, means you also come out. So this is the way you can install the hive with external meta store db with mysql or maybe derby or maybe you can go for the which other database like which is supported by the hive also you can go for it so these are the steps here now if any doubts if you have it means you can also contact me see more in it also hope you are going to enjoy the video i'll hold here thank you